Welcome to the first episode of Patriot News for the year 2023 to 2024 school year. Today, we have lots of interviews um, with teachers and students about Halloween questions, considering it is Halloween season. We have a recipe with Caleb on how to make a pumpkin spice roll later on. We have lots of interviews from the folks here helping us at Patriot News, including Caillou Silversmith, um, Sebastian Willie, Caleb Emerson, J Joshua Yazi, and me, Logan Calabasa. Greetings to you all on this fine October day. My name is Caillou James Silversmith with Patriot News. And while every person is different, I am confident that we all have one thing in common. We love music. And there are a plethora of genres you can pick from, whether it be rap, rock, or jazz, or maybe even some obscure genres like funk or EDM. There is no doubt that music plays a major role in all of our lives. That being said, I would like to recommend a couple of songs that you should listen to. And who knows, maybe this could expand your palate in music. After all, they do say, variety is the spice of life. Without further ado, let's go on to my recommendation list. Now my first song I will recommend is probably one that many of you know, but it does fit the time of the year. As Halloween creeps closer, I think Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett is the perfect vibe to set the mood for this spooky season. Moving on from that, I have a song that the people who grew up in the 90s will probably recognize well. This rock power ballad performed by the legendary Ozzy Osbourne titled Mama I'm Coming Home will put you in the fields in just the right way. I am glad I grew up with his and many other older songs, as well as the newer music that comes out. Speaking of newer music, my next song is one that just le released a little under three weeks ago. But between then and now, I have got to say, this song immediately became one of my favorites from this year. This song is no other than Bad Things by Boy With Youth. Do not knock it till you try it. I highly recommend this song out of any of them. However, I am not done yet because my second to last song, Cootie Zone by Kid Cootie, is a transcending experience as the instrumental along with the lyrics can take you to another plane. I think this song is perfect for nighttime outdoor activities like stargazing or even just a walk. Finally, we reach the end of my segment. And for this last song, I'd like to go back to when most of us students were just little kids. The late 2000s offered so much and it was sort of a turning point going into the new decade. But the song that perfectly encapsulated that era is Coldplay's Viva La Vida. Those who know the song know that this song will take you back to when life was simple and you didn't have to worry about modern problems. And with that my friends, it's five songs that I think you should give a listen to. Hopefully this will encourage people to try new things, not just new music. Have a good day my fellow patriots. Hi, I'm Logan Calabasa with Patriot News, and I'm here with... Uh, Mr. Sawyer Mason Jones. Mr. Sawyer Mason Jones, what's your favorite scary movie? Uh, I watch a lot of horror movies. It's really hard to narrow them down. The best one I've seen recently is a series of movies called VHS. They're scary story vignettes. They're pretty great. Uh, That's pretty cool. Mr. Sawyer Mason Jones... Uh, what is the age you think people should stop trick-or-treating? Never. Don't stop trick-or-treating. He loves diabetes. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Sawyer Mason Jones, what is your best costume you've ever seen? That's a really hard one. The best costume I've ever seen. Like, there's been some pretty impressive cosplays that I've seen. Saw a TikTok one a little while ago of a really weird-looking clown. Um, Best costume that I personally wore would either be uh, the year I went as the ugly stepsister or uh, the year I went as a roadkill squirrel. Thank you. This has been Logan Calabasa with Patriot News. Hello again. This is Caillou Silversmith with a video game review. Now, the game I chose to do is one I have been waiting for since it was announced earlier this year. This being the brand new Mortal Kombat 1, which was released last month in September. 
This M-rated game, being the 12th installment in the Mortal Kombat franchise, takes place in Earthrealm, a supernatural parallel universe to ours, which expands past Earth to other locations. You play as a wide variety of characters the roster has to offer, some highlights being Raiden, Sub-Zero, and General Shao. In the story mode, the fire god Liu Kang leads his champions to face the deceptive yet likable Shang Tsung, even if that means teaming up with him. To understand what I mean by that statement, I highly recommend you purchase the game and give it a try. I would rate this game a 9 out of 10, the only flaw being that I had to pay $70 for the game, but I would say it is worth it for the experience. That was my video game review. Have a good day, Patriots. I'll see you next time. Thank you, Caillou, for the recommendations. Me personally, I love Mortal Kombat 1. Now, I heard you did an interview. Let's go see that. This is Caillou Silversmith with Patriot News. And today, we're going to be interviewing... At Dario Madrid, Student Success Advisor. We're going to be asking him some questions about this Halloween season. Your first question is, what's your favorite Halloween movie? The Nun, the first one. The, the, the Nun, yeah. All right, good choice. Um, the second question, what's the best costume you've ever seen before? Uh, I saw a kid dressed up as a witch holding a bag of sand, and she called herself a sandwich. All right, that's pretty good. Um, our third question is, what age do you think you should stop trick-or-treating? 13, right, right after mid-school. You should, shouldn't be out stealing candy and taking candy from, from people. All right, good. Um, this is Caillou Silversmith with Patriot News signing off. Hello, my name is Caleb Ramson, and I'm from Patreon News. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a pumpkin spice roll. For the pumpkin spice roll, you're going to need a mixing bowl, three large eggs, cinnamon, pumpkin spice, salt, baking soda, vanilla extract, pumpkin, in the bowl, we'll put three-fourths of a cup of flour. One-fourth tablespoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of pumpkin spice. One cup of sugar. Three large eggs, two thirds of a cup of pumpkin. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we'll mix it up to a paste. While mixing this, we'll go to an interview with Zayman. I'm Zayman Claude with the Patriot News, and I'm here with Mrs. Sissel. Mrs. Sissel. And I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite, co or what is the most best costume you've ever seen? The best costume I've ever seen? Oh my gosh. Um, there are so many. Um, I myself was dressed as Cartman. I think that was pretty hilarious. That's fire. Mm-hmm. 
How Jeff? about other people's costumes? Other people's costumes. Well, I've seen uh, at my last school, we had um, like all the teachers in one uh, hallway all dressed up as M&Ms. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. What is your favorite scary movie or Halloween movie? Oh, my gosh. I don't do scary movies ever. They're horrible. <laughs> Halloween movies? I guess maybe Beetlejuice could be considered Halloween. Very good choice. What age do you think it is to be, like, not able to trick-or-treat anymore? Um, like 87, 88, maybe? Yeah, you should be able to trick-or-treat as long as you can. There you go. All right, I'm Zane McLeod with Ms. Sissel, and I'm going to be signing off for the Patriot News. After we're done mixing, we'll then spread it out down on the baking sheet and spread it to all corners, making sure it's even. After we're done spreading it on the baking sheet, we'll then put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 350 degrees. While it's baking in the oven, we'll go to an interview with Sebastian Willie. Hello, this is Sebastian with Patriot News. I'm here with Cadet Yazi. And I'm going to ask him some Halloween questions. So, what's your favorite Halloween or scary movie? I would say Scream. Scream? Uh, why would you say Scream? It's just fun watching a bunch of dumb idiots die. <laughs> All right, I agree. I agree. What, what age do you think you should stop trick or treating at? I'd say there's no limit to the age. They want to continue trick or treating, that's fine. So, someone like, say, an elder, like 60 or 50 years old, could still can? Sure. All right. Last question What's the best Halloween costume you have ever seen? I'd probably say the guy with the pot. <laughs> All right, you can cut to a previous clip for that. Well, thank you for this interview. I am Sebastian Willie with Patriot News, signing off. After it's done, Baking. We'll then put it in the fridge for five minutes after rolling it all together. While it cools, we'll then start making our filling. We'll start with eight ounces of cream cheese, one powder, one cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. While mixing this, we'll then go to an interview with Joshua Yazi. Hi, I'm Joshua Yazi, and you're um, interviewing someone for Patriot News, and here is Brian. Hello. Okay, the first question is, what is your favorite horror movie or scary movie? Very obvious answer. This guy is obviously, I don't know. But what, the second question is, uh, what's, your, what's the best costume you've ever seen? So far, there's Walmart. <laughs> this guy obviously likes me. Okay, so the third option is, do you, is there an age limit on trick-or-treating? I think so, no. And why is that? I'd say so because you're able to trick-or-treat at any age. I have no reason behind it. Okay, this guy doesn't obviously have a, a right opinion. So, okay, this is, this is Joshua Yaji for Patreon News. So, signing off. After we're done mixing this to a paste, we'll then start spraying it onto a mixing sheet. We'll then spread it to all corners, making sure it's evenly spread. We'll then roll it up and cut the sides. And there you have it, a homemade pumpkin spice roll. Let's see how it tastes. What's 
for what we have here is a pumpkin spice roll and as as you can see it is very delicious all right let's try it now all right first caillou first caillou all right I think I think this was pretty good. I like the I like I like the frosting inside of it and the, the taste of the cake. I think it's really good. What do you think, Anthony? Um, yeah, what guy you said, man, the cake is really good. The flavor it tastes like a um, pumpkin spice. It's actually really good. Uh, it's just good enough. It's not it's like perfect. Yeah. Caleb's a master chef. I must say, this is actually really better good. than Josh. You gotta you gotta show me the recipe sometimes. But yeah, the flavor is good, the, the cream is good, and everything. Hi, my name is Caleb, and I'm with... Julius Yazzie. And I will be asking him some questions. Question one, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Uh, FNAF, yep, that one's coming out. Or Jeepers Creepers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Good answer. Is there an age to trick-or-treating? Uh, depending on the person, I feel like the age gap would be 30 or 40, depending on the custom. Yeah. Mm, yeah. What What is the coolest costume you you have seen? The coolest costume I've ever seen was uh, a guy dressed up all green uh, in a peace shooter suit from uh, Plants vs Zombies. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right, signing off with Patriot News. That was all for today for the first episode of Patriot News. More will be coming very soon. As always, have a wonderful day, Patriots.